Wabarakatuh. On behalf of NNST, my name is Ben Tejop and I am a founding member of Tendawi Serintuba. Uh, today I bring uh, greetings from our Jorin Serinju Simbae, the board of director of Jorin of Ndawi Serintuba, but also from all the Muslim uh, murid youth living in the United States of America. So much for such a wonderful, a great uh, discourse and a great, uh, you know, presentation about the Ndawi Serin Tuba. I strongly believe that this is quite honestly the greatest gift we can give to a youth movement, especially putting it in writing, but also giving us such more, such details about how we came about as young murids. As you were speaking, I think one thing that really caught my attention was the fact that you did mention that the Ndawi Serin Tuba did have an identity that was transnational, but also the pluralism that we could see in our movement. I can tell you that the beginning, uh, you know, our movement, mentioned that so beautifully in your article. You know, we came about really out of a need. Uh, this is something that was bigger than ourselves. I think the time where on July 23rd, 2017, when we met at the Central Park, Morningside Park for our barbecue, it was our sole yearning to be in touch with Sheikh Ahmad Dubamba. I think uh, the time is very small for me to elaborate on how we were able to display our year thirst for the Murid Tariha here in the United States. But I also wanted to really mention that NST, the Ndawi Serin Tuba, has a very particular side that I'm inviting everyone to pay attention to. And that's the, the, the platform that Ndawi Serin Tuba be for the Muslim woman herself. With our community, with our organization, very early on, given a platform to the woman in our society. We were part of the board membership. We were part of the decision making. But another aspect of NST is the social aspect of NST, where NST became a safe place, not, not just for peacemaking. And I'm glad that you mentioned that because Shia Amba is the pinnacle of the embodiment of peace all over the world. However, we were able to embody that through our activities. And the example you gave with that man being shot is, is how we are living that peace on a daily basis. I owe our attention to the way that we are forming new lives. In NST, we see that we, with our activities, we were able to decrease uh, like unmarital uh, um, um, interrelationship, if you will say. In NST, we were very successful into making the young people meet and get married and build the health of the health. Within NST as well, we were able to build models. I need to remind, I, I am compelled right now to remind everyone that NST is really a model and a good service, not only for, um, for Senegalese murids, but for American. Because most of our the youngest may be around 12, the oldest you may see somewhere old. However, most of them are U.S. citizens. These are the future leaders of America. And having the, the principles and the teachings of Sheikh Ahmed Bamba in the 20th century, right now with the world where black lives matter, we are struggling for black men. We are struggling to end the violence in New York. We are struggling to find a meaningful way to work. NST came through as an answer, and not only for the Murid community, but for the world as a whole. And I'm very grateful that we were able to show our progress through the article that Mr. Jonathan do, did um, with, with the help of Mika, the Murid Islamic community in America. I think before I end, to say that, yes, we do have concern within and his concern is really to have the resource. But our Jordan, which is sitting Joseph, by, along with the board, has shown the, the way. And the way that NST operates is really the words of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, where he said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So what we did is we took lines and we started creating avenues of development even before anybody got involved. 
blessing for us to see that the minute we rose up, the elders came and gave us their stamp of approval. The minute we got up, we were able to see that Sheikh Sering Mamor came and gave him, gave us his stamp of approval. So now NST is into a bigger platform. Sure, in the future of Muridism, according to us and into our own eyes, is how can we develop the Murid exponentially? How can we make Muridism in America accord with, which is, creating an international university where all youth can identify in there and be able to do the true sense of khidma, which is learning the, the westernized way of education, but applying also the teaching of the sheikh and creating that bridge. So I think part of both teachings. Another of our future endeavors also has to go with, has to do with really creating safe spaces. I think Mr. Jonathan, you, you touch upon that a little bit by saying that we, when we have the data and we create that safe place for people, it's a means for us to create better peace for you that at this time, NST definitely needs more of those safe spaces. I think one of our challenge is really how can we uh, recognize that NST, most of our members are American citizens, and how can we make reservations for those U.S. citizens, for those Americans, so that they can benefit from, like, let's say, like recreational centers, places where they can stay, so that they can leave the true identity of who they were born to be. We want to monopolize the discussion, but we are extremely grateful for this opportunity. We do thank Mika for this opportunity. Uh, for the support that we have received. So, uh, Mr. Juf, thank you so much for having us. And Mr. Jonathan, again, we are extremely appreciative. On behalf of all the members of the Ndawi Serin Tuba, we are thankful and we say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And we pray for our Sheikh Serin, Murtala, uh, Serin Muntaha for a long life for him, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you very much, Peter Job. I think that you added to Jonathan's presentation and you engage with some of the issues he raised. In particular, I think you gave us a kind of very powerful picture of the mission that, you know, NST members assign themselves. And again, the question you are raising, which resonates very well with what Jonathan was saying is how do you inscribe murid resources in a landscape where you have other groups, other values, other religious understanding. And in particular, what you insisted on is about a kind of American citizenship which is informed by a tradition which is not a Western tradition, by a Muslim tradition which is also different from, quote-unquote, the kind of global Muslim tradition. And, and I think that it's an important discussion to have also beyond the Murid community because it's not, as you say, only about the Muslim community. It's about West Africans, it's about Muslims, it's about making the lesson of Amadou Bamba important and more important in the world scene. But one thing you intersect, the three of you, is your insistence on peace. And my question is why such an insistence on peace? Because peace is but one aspect of Amadou Bamba's teaching is not the whole teaching of Bamba. Again, Sheikh Babu insists much more on the pedagogical aspect and think that it is the heart of Amadou Bamba's intervention. I think these are questions around which we put open the floor and give the possibility of our colleagues to intervene before going back to Jonathan. So, the floor.